Where did my passion come from? From my love for my parents and their friends and for these people that I feel are my cousins and the second cousins that I should have had. So the concept of trauma as it applies to the, the people who themselves are directly exposed speaks about three elements, a particular event or set of circumstances that were experienced by these people in a certain way because not everybody experiences the same event the same way, experienced as very disturbing and hurtful and threatening to their sense of physical and mental and spiritual well-being. So that's the way it was experienced in order to be traumatic and that this event and the experience of this event is so disturbing and disruptive has led to certain effects in these people, some lasting effects that manifest themselves in various ways in either an impaired functioning in some area or a distress relating to that particular event or set of circumstances. So the most important thing for me at this point in the life of the second generation, because that's where we're at, is now, what can we do about it? So while I talk about the trauma in the parent generation and how we understand its impact through the relationship with our survivor parents, I would like people to understand that there are also strengths, unique strengths that come along with the uh, legacy of the Holocaust and that uh, we have to look at the, the double-edged, the double-sided uh, nature of this legacy, the vulnerabilities and the strengths that it gave us, so that we can have better control on how to understand our responses today in the relationships that we have today. And because we're in middle age, in which there is some wisdom that we didn't have before, that allows people to see things uh, from different sides and see multiple truths at the same time. And we also learn from adult development studies that the most important thing in living well, and some studies even suggest in uh, increasing our longevity, are the quality of our relationships. And so at this point in life, I would like us to take the wisdom that we have with our age and the knowledge that we can have from the studies that I'm trying to share today with the participants and bring it to the relationships that we have today with spouses, with adult children, with their uh, partners that we don't always necessarily feel we would have chosen, with our grandchildren and with friends so that our relationships from here on will be as informed by this knowledge will allow us to continue to develop and grow with this knowledge and allow us to have the best relationships going forth so that our lives are as best as they can be and as long as they can be.